Hello, my wonderful friend. In today's video, we're going to be talking about what you need to know if you're short. I receive a lot of messages from men who are concerned because they're short and they are very, very concerned that nobody's ever going to like them. Girls always like the tall guys, right? Well, if that question is on your mind, there's some very important things you need to know that I think will pleasantly surprise you. So be sure to stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. Melanie here from coachmelanie.com. As I mentioned, we're going to be talking about some things you need to know if you're a short guy. But before we get into that, I just want to mention that I have a special gift for you at the end of this video, so be sure to stay tuned. And if you have not yet subscribed, be sure to do that and ring that notification bell. I don't want you to miss any of the incredible videos I have coming for you. Now, as I mentioned, I receive messages pretty frequently from guys who are really concerned because they're short and they're very afraid that girls only like tall guys. Many, if, if not most of them, are completely convinced that because they're not 6'2 and super ripped, that no one is ever going to want them, so why should they even try? So if you're one who feels that way, realize that you're not alone, and I am here to put your mind at ease. Fun fact for you, I have actually dated, I'm not very tall, I'm actually on the short side for sure, and I have dated guys who are just barely taller than me. As a matter of fact, some of the guys I have crushed on the very hardest have just barely been taller than me. And I liked them just as much, if not more, than the taller guys I've dated. The fact that they were short certainly did not keep me from being interested in them and strongly attracted to them. One guy in particular, um, the fact that he was short bothered him a whole lot more than it bothered me. Honestly, I just liked him for who he was. And he had other features that were so incredibly attractive that I didn't really spend that much time thinking about his height. There are certainly girls out there who will only date guys who are tall. Um, there are certainly girls out there who are uncomfortable if a guy is short because they're tall. Um, on the flip side of this, guys, there are a lot of girls who really struggle for the opposite reason. They're very tall and feel like nobody wants to date them because they're tall. So this is not a, a new um, situation. <laughs> it certainly goes um, on both sides. The truth is, however, that there are certainly girls who find guys who are a tall, attractive, and there are girls who find guys who are shorter, attractive. Some girls, it's a deal breaker. Other girls, it's really not. It's just not. So honestly, a lot of people are wor worried about something that's not real. Because the truth is, you don't have to attract every girl. You just need to attract one. Fun fact for you, Hunter Hayes, popular country singer, total heartthrob. He was just featured in People Magazine as one of the sexiest men alive. And you know what? He's very short. He just is. He's a short guy. As a matter of fact, he makes jokes about it sometimes. And you know what? When I found out that he was one of the sex featured as one of the sexiest men alive, I was not surprised for a second. <laughs> because I'm a girl and I have seen him and I can tell you that I wholeheartedly agree. Fun fact about me, I'm actually a little bit of a haniac. Um, he's one of my favorite artists. I, I, I love his music and I love the passion he puts and the emotion he puts into his music. Um, so it did not surprise me for a second. He's a very, very physically attractive man and he's attractive for other reasons as well. Another example of this would actually be David Archuleta. Um, he's another singer who is just Incredible. Oh my goodness. He, he's so talented and his voice just melts you. Fun fact. Um, I have a lot of fun facts in today's video. Fun fact, David Archuleta and I actually belong to the same church. We're not in the same uh, congregation because we don't live in the same area, but we both belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So I can tell you that as soon as his career took off and he became more well-known and people started knowing who he was, um, there are so many girls in my church who just totally like would fall over dead at the mention of David Archuleta because of who he is and because he's so attractive. And even outside of our church, everyone, there are so many girls who are completely in love with David Archuleta. Fun fact about David Archuleta, he's short. 
He just is. Both of them are actually just barely even taller than me and I'm short. Now, despite the fact that these guys are both short, there are girls who crush on them so hard and have been crushing on them hard for a very, very long time. Now, why is this? Why are these guys so attractive? Well, I have the answer to that, but I'm going to actually tell you that in a second. First, I want to mention something to you that may make you a little bit uncomfortable at first, and that's totally okay. That is 100% okay, because when each of us hears this, it makes us uncomfortable. There are things about each of us that we feel self-conscious about. Um, we feel like we are the only one who feels this way or the only one who struggles with this, but the truth is every single person has these things. I have these things. Everyone has these things. It's our height or the size of our nose or how skinny we are or how... Um, more skinny we would like to be. It's the color of our eyes or the size of our eyes or our hair. Whatever it is, there. every single one of us has things about us physically that we would like to change. Things about us that we can't change. Now, sometimes what we do is we kind of hide behind them um, because we're scared, which is completely normal. Like, don't beat yourself up for that. That's so to totally normal. But we hide behind those things and um, it gives us kind of permission to say, well, that's the reason nobody likes me. It's because I'm short or I have a big nose. That's the reason. And what this does is completely unconsciously that gives our brain permission to say, well, that's the thing that's keeping people from wanting me. And then we start pushing people away because we're, we're afraid or we're embarrassed or we're scared and it starts pushing people away. So we're like, well, nobody's going to want me because I have a big nose or, you know, because my hair's not the right color. And do you, do you want to approach someone who's like this? No, you don't. Even if you're not physically doing this, emotionally you are. And what happens is it pushes people away. It has nothing to do with your height, your hair color, uh, whether or not your teeth are perfectly straight. It has nothing to do with that. It's a completely subconscious thing we do as humans. We start pushing people away and blaming it on that physical trait. But here's the important thing to remember. If you remember nothing else about this video, please remember this. God did not make one person ugly. He did not send one person here to fail. And he is not going to start with you. He's just not. This thing that to you feels so terrifying is not really a big deal. And I can say that because I have things about myself that at one point absolutely paralyzed me. And I was convinced I was never going to get married and no one would ever want me because I was so embarrassed and felt so awkward about these traits. But the truth is nobody else notices them. And there may be some people who don't want you because you don't have the right hair color, but there are so many other people who do. I know this can feel really hard to believe when we've spent so many years telling ourselves that this one thing about us is going to paralyze us in romantic relationships, but it really is fact. And the more you let yourself start to even just hope to believe it, the more your brain will actually start to see all of the reasons why it, in fact it is real and that you don't need to worry about those things and that you are incredible. There's a whole science behind how that works, but I don't have time to get into it now. But basically, as you give yourself permission to accept, hey, maybe it's okay that I'm short. Maybe there are even some girls who actually like that about me because there are girls who actually prefer short guys. Interesting fact for you. As you start to allow your brain to accept that, your brain will go to work and start finding that and it will become more and more your reality. Again, not every girl is going to want you. Some girls are only going to want guys who are tall. That's just a fact of life. Just like some guys will only want girls with brown hair and, and uh, brown eyes, which I don't have. Those guys are not going to want me. That's how life works. Everybody wants different things. However, there's a lot of women out there who are going to find you incredibly attractive and one in particular who's longing to meet you and she can't if you continue to hide behind that fear. So back to Hunter and David Archuleta. Why are these guys so attractive? Because let me tell you, <laughs> they are. <laughs> Maybe we should cut that. So what makes these guys so attractive? 
Well, one of the main reasons they are so attractive is they don't spend a lot of time worrying about their looks. <laughs> they don't spend a lot of time worrying about their height. As a matter of fact, I mentioned Hunter actually cracks jokes about his height. He just accepts it and moves on. He doesn't obsess about it. It is what it is and he can't change it. And by not worrying about it, they've instead focused on building their talents and their skills and serving people and adding to the world in good ways. And let me tell you, as a girl, that is so attractive. Someone who is willing to contribute to something more than themselves. They have a passion, they have a pursuit, and they're working on it and adding to the world. Now that's that's sexy. Now you do not have to be a musician in order to do that. God gives each of us skills and talents and abilities. So find something you're passionate about and you love to be involved in and work on that and stop focusing on your height. In addition to adding to the world in these good ways and having passion and purpose, these men also practice the tools of attraction. The, the same tools I teach you guys. They work on their health and being physically healthy and fit. They dress sharp and in a way that really, really flatters them and their body type. They have sharp haircuts. They're kind. They, um, they practice so many of these tools that make them attractive people with or without being 6'2". If you're interested in learning more about the tools of attraction and how to become what I like to call attractive by default, be sure you check out the link in the description below to learn more about how to find and attract your dream girl. So basically, if you are a short guy and you're wondering what it is women want, you need to know that women want you. She just wants you. She wants the real you. Not every woman is going to want you, but you don't want every woman and you only need one. And so stop worrying about your height or whatever else it is about you that you're nervous about. Work to apply the tools of attraction to become the best you possible and you can in fact find your dream girl. Thank you so much again for watching. As I mentioned earlier, um, I have a special gift for you and it is 17 traits Christian women want most in a man. Fun fact, you will not find height on the list at all. Be sure to download this free gift. All you have to do is click on the link in the description below, enter your name and email, and I will send this your way. Random question of the day. If you saw yesterday's video, you know that this is a new thing we're starting. So random question of the day is, DC or Marvel? I will put my preference in the comments below, so be sure to check it out. P.S. Let's not turn this into like a rant thing. I know we feel very passionately about our superheroes, but everybody's entitled to their own opinion, so no rants. Play, play fair, kids. Play fair. If you have not yet subscribed, be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell. Also, give me a big thumbs up. Sharing really is caring, guys. So if <laughs> so, so share. That's what you need to do. <laughs> Thank you so much again, my amazing friend, and have an amazing day. Let's talk about my shirt. <laughs> if you blow it up big, it looks like, you know, a little line in my shirt. But if you don't, it's like a trip. <laughs> it's really weird. I just want to share that with you. <laughs> okay, I can focus now. <laughs> You're welcome. I apologize in advance if anybody feels a little seasick, you know. But it's a cute shirt, so I'm gonna wear it.